What is going on everybody my name is Meho and welcome to another Angular 2 tutorial in which we'll be continuing with our login application and first of all let's just get rid of these messages because these kind of look brutal so what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna say right here we want to redirect the user to some different page if the user is actually an administrator and if not then what I want to do is pretty much redirect the user to a universal page where the user can pretty much view a common page template like everybody else would view so for administrator there should be a sort of a different page and for regular users there should be a sort of like a dashboard so what I'm gonna make use of is I'm gonna say right here first of all let's just define a private router and uh, we're gonna need a router here route config and I'm gonna say if this is a private router and this is of a type router well you can just do sort of like object here as well that's some TypeScript stuff so now what I'm gonna say that since this is a router of our page I'm gonna say this dot router dot navigate and inside here I'm gonna pass in the name of my route so in this case that would be um, let's just say admin area so what this admin area is actually if you remembered from the past few tutorials I guess I told you in sh simple shopping application I told you that for an href you need to create something like this not actually href but router link and then an array and here goes the admin area so we did that on purpose and whenever the user clicked this anchor tag what would happen is that whatever the name of that route would be pretty much would the user would be redirected to that so this is the similar thing but in this case you can think like we are just immediately creating that link and just clicking that but actually that's nothing like that is happening it's just simply routing the user to a different name and uh, let's just make the first one as caps and define another route and inside this I'm gonna say admin and make sure that only the name right here needs to match this nothing else so you know it's not like you have to make this admin area as well no you can just keep the path anything but the name should match then the component for this would be pretty much a different one so um, let's just say this is my admin component uh, let's just define another file then new file component dot admin dot ts and uh, actually let's just copy the login one so we don't need this thing right here just need the component right here then pretty much for now I'm just gonna display hello admin and uh, yeah pretty much I guess we are done with it so if I take a look in the browser okay we get admin component is not defined because we are not including the admin component import admin component from component dot admin all right now we are good to go and if I write anything like that and obviously yes we should probably console log this as well console log this dot data and uh, admin one two three four five login we get nothing but only the console log because the code doesn't enter this if block but if I change this to admin and hit login we get a lot of errors so ng summit cannot read property navigate of undefined and uh, looks like I haven't thrown this in constructor so you need to just have the constructor first so that should pretty much do our job 
Not really. And I guess we have to include router instead of route config. Okay, so now if I enter admin, admin, hit enter. You can see that I am navigated to localhost 3000 and slash admin. So yes, the console still works because actually this is a under the behind the scenes routing, not actually I have loaded this page. But you can see that if I directly load this page, it still works, which kind of you would like. So you don't like that, you won't want actually that anybody in the world just goes to your website and type slash admin and gets access to the administrator area. Well, then what good is login form? So we're going to make use of a simple authentication thing with Angular, which would kind of validate if the user is logged in. And if it is, then if the user is administrator, then only you have access to this area. So that's pretty much it for this video tutorial. And if you liked it, then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.